suscríbete y activa la campanita, no lo olvides. Hey, what happened, Panda? Welcome to Reventer Reborn. This is Digital Combat Simulator, and today I am in a fiction and I am going to speak about Target Lightning Import, okay? The TGP here in the center, you can see it. And today's tutorial is about Otash integration, hand on a stick, and throttle integration with the FLIR, okay? First of all, you know that you have to turn on the FLIR when you make the ramp start. You have to set in standby mode around two minutes, and later on, when you take off, you will, or when you are going to use it, you will jump to the on position. Okay, remember two minutes to warm up the system, and then here is the flare. Okay, another thing, another important thing is if you are in navigation or in air to air mode, you cannot shoot the laser. You cannot set the laser, laser code, okay? For that, you have to jump to air to ground mode, and here you can see. Sorry, first of all, you have to turn on the laser, of course. Here you have to save laser, okay? And now you can already set up the system, okay? If you don't believe me, look, this is a navigation mode. And now I cannot, and in air to ground mode, we can switch, but in air to air mode, you can not also, okay? Air to ground, switch, okay, perfect. And laser, well, no, look at this. We are laser in standby mode, there is no option in here. Okay, now with laser, with right click, this is laser, laser on, you have new options here, okay? I'm going to speak about the Hotash integration, and first of all, I wanted to review all the options in the DDI, in this case, in the right DDI. Here you have to make some wide narrow zoom vision, okay, wide well, narrow, that's a very standard thing as you must know. You have use a detailed zoom level, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 okay. And you can change the mode, TCD or Clear mode in white or in blank mode. Okay, remember that Maverick thing of a uh, white is hot, black is hot. This is the same. Okay, in clear mode you have auto uh, auto lightning. For example, is the way that you are looking at here, and you can se select that black mode or white mode. Okay, then the laser search code. This is a code where you are going to search for a laser that someone is lacing. Okay, maybe a fuck, or an air controller, or a friend, or whatever, okay? The clutter mode make this picture clear. And without the clutter, you get your airspeed in knots, your max speed, and your altitude, okay? Then in the youth front control, you can change the laser code, for example, one, five, two, three, this is the laser that your TGP is shooting, is releasing, is firing, okay? And the LSTC is the laser that the your TGP is going to search, okay, enter, okay, it's a not valid code, sorry, enter, as you can see, this is the laser search, okay? The important one is the up, the, uh, the up one. And these options, this is uh, RTC clear, it's like uh, clear something, but it's not working. I'm not sure what you can expect of that. But here you have manual uh, automatic trigger, or when it's selected, manual trigger. Manual trigger means that you are going to fire the laser manually with your HOTAS, okay, with your stick. And you can fire a laser, laser is arm, or a mark. A mark is a point in there, okay? It's a eye ear symbol or laser, okay? Uh, now, speaking about the HOTAS, let me make the DDI as a sensor with the sensor switch. Now I have the sensor, I have the controller. With the radar cursors, I can move the laser and search for my targets in here, okay? Here you can see them. I'm going to active pause there, active pause, and here you have a lot of things. Why? You can make 
this small thumb on the left with your radar elevation. Okay, what case are that? Controls and these ones, radar elevation control down and up, are for the small thumb. The narrow uh, fob thumb is done with right fleet fob selection. Okay, the fleet fob selection is this white and narrow, white, narrow, white, narrow. Also, if you keep the, this fob K long press around one second, pang, you automatically say change between TTD and one, two, pang, and the fleet option. Remember with the I key, one, two, ping. What this means? It's a long press around one second. You have to keep pressing that I key or in your HOTAS, the fob vision key, one second and release, and you change the polarity. Ching. Uh, as you can see, the FLIR mode in blank or white is really good one because you can see almost everything. But uh, it's not a problem, it's an auto contrast thing. Uh, this mode has auto contrast, but it's not working with this effect. It's only working with really fire for a bomb explosion or whatever. This is only an uh, effect from the light editor. But when you, bo you bomb, make some fire, uh, this is going to be in this mode, in flare mode, auto contrast. And at the moment that you have fire in your picture, okay, everything is going to get darker and darker uh, when you are closing to the fire. Darker, darker, darker. And when you are here, everything is dark except the fire. Okay, we will see that in other tutorials about the. Uh, uh, laser release bombs and these things, you will see the, that effect. Don't worry about that. Okay, continue with the HOTAS integration. There is a, a very useful, useful uh, utility that is center your FLIR looking forward. Okay, maybe you, are, you don't know where is your FLIR looking, your TGP. Wait a, a second, please. I'm moving to the left. This point over here. Is telling me that my TGP is looking in front or the left and also you can see here is 50 degrees degrees to the left and 40 50 blah blah blah, blah down okay it's a mix of the numbers but if I want to go really fast or I don't know where the TGP is looking at you can use uncage to make the fleet go forward look now it's forward. Believe in me, it's forward. It's, it's in front. Where is aiming the TGP? Look at here. There is aiming in that Y point. Okay. Cling. Uh, what key is this? It controls the cage on cage bottom. The T is to make the, the, the TGP look forward. And to generate that waypoint is this K? So that is not to control the press, enter. Okay, is the radar cursors are this one to move the GDP all around? And when you want to make something as a target for a weapon like your laser gate bombs, you have to depress that bottom with enter. Okay, and that will make that a uh, diamond over there. When you want to delete that diamond or waypoint, and you have to use this very useful key. And this is key, of course, not a well steering switch, the is key, okay? For that, if you here generate this waypoint, you can delete with the S key and designate waypoint, okay? Um, let me think, yes, 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 I have more for you about HODAS integration. Let me again focus on my river. What is my river? Here is my river. Here are my units. And uh, there is important option in here. Let me reset this for a moment. Okay. Now the system is working in operation mode and is using the memory to track that position. Okay. This means that this tracking system is not very good. It's good, it's good, but could have some deviations with the time. If you keep the aiming in here, maybe with time, 
uh, is not going to be here, it's going to be there, for example, okay? Uh, you are, the system is going to jump to memory work uh, function when the lens or your video is a block by your plane, for example, okay? This mem thing is going to work automatically. But now you are in normal operate mode, okay? Uh, do you remember the sensor select switch? This one, sensor control switch. Uh, I have the TGP on my right, the FLIR on my right, DDI, and I used for select that the the right select. Sorry, the right. Okay, this one. If you don't have the depress options, I have in my hotas. If you don't have it, you can simulate the depress option again using right. If you are in the right DDI and you use again right DDI, you are going to use a depress function. Okay. Then, when you are in the press or using the press function, and you are going to change the option, the operation, one press of the operation. Now it's an attack. There is no memory function. Now it's working. Of course, if you move the stick, the view for a moment, a memory function works. But when he's trying to track in the ground, and it's going to be more precise tracking. Okay. Also, you have a new option, uh, no new, other option. Use again the press, one the press is in point, point tracking. Now it's going to track what is inside the point. For example, that is not a building, but a container in there. Okay, or this person, if I make a, a thumb, you can track this person. There is a problem in here. Okay, if you move fast, or even you go narrow, okay, it's not working in this moment, but with the harriers happened to me. I have a harrier in there, but if I go out and now go in, okay, it's right harrier. Let me try to a few times. Okay, it's working now good in this distance, okay. But sometimes in this uh, point mode, you are going to no notice that if you have selected two target really close, like these harriers, maybe make, making zoom out, zoom in, the point is going to jump to the other plane or other target, okay? Uh, I think I am not forgetting anything, okay, um, the hotas integration, okay, uh, <coughs> to fire the laser, now it's automatically, but I have to manually trigger the laser. Now the function is manual, automatic, manual, okay? As simple as fire the second release trigger. As you can see there, now I am firing the laser, LTD-R, or laser is arm. I am not firing now the laser, now I am firing, now I am not, okay? In this moment, I can push the trigger, it's not working. The mark option, this IR signature, is arm, is manual, or automatic, manual. When I press, mark, it's marking, or not, okay? Sometimes, I don't know why it's working, I can mark or without keep the trigger. I am not sure about what is this. I think I think it's something about operation mode. But as you can see operation mode is, is working all the time. I don't know, it's quite bogus I think. Okay? I know, I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, okay, I think everything is uh, stalled. Let me tell you what is the trigger that you have to use. Gun trigger, second attempt. See, keep it simple, okay? We cover all the bottoms, I think, of the TGP in this lesson, and all the functions, okay? Remember the long press to treat the polarity, and the polarity is really good. I, I love this polarity, because look at this, you can see uh, the river really easy, okay? If you are trying to look, the, this ice is not an island. I don't know how to say in English this thing, but this island, 
it's really easy to to see with this polarity but remember with fire inside the picture it's going to get dark 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 until you get something like that and only you will see a flame okay uh, i hope you enjoyed the video you i think you are learning something in here from me uh, i will make more videos about the tgp with the lecture and with the maverick please subscribe give me a thumbs up and check my other videos be happy don't deep install bye bye no olvides suscribirte, darle a like y revisar mis últimos vídeos. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up and check my other videos.